Hey guys and welcome back to episode 5 of our FIFA 18 career with Brentford. Next up we are away to Sheffield Wednesday after coming off the back of two fantastic victories against tough opposition. We look to take three points away from Sheffield Wednesday and climb up the table even further. So we're going to jump straight into this game and get these three points. Okay so after the good victory last time out against Aston Villa the team is going to be the same other than Ali Koot, who will be on the bench, he did lose quite a lot of stamina, as that's probably the first full 90 minutes he has played in the game. So he can come on at half-time if needed, but the bulk of the team is going to be the same. Early corner ball here, whipped in towards the head of Dowsgaard. Oh, four minutes in, 1-0 to Brentford, lovely header from Dowsgaard. Oh, he's got Judge, he's got Judge, oh! There's a bit of luck there, but we don't care. It's 2-0. Judge followed up with the provisional shot. And there we go. It's 2-0. Judge to Makito. Bang. Oh, my God. Like an arrow, he sends that top bin. 3-0. So, after 90 minutes, we come out with three goals, three points, and more importantly, a clean sheet, which I think is very important to get. It shows we have got a very solid defensive base as well as some incredibly good attackers. So 3-0 is a very, very good performance against the team I remember saying were actually quite difficult. So it's proven that as much as we mix the squad around, we've still got the base team to do the job. Okay, guys, so we're going to jump straight into the next game against uh, Reading. After this game against Reading, we've got a very, very big cup tie against Southampton, so our Premier League side. So I'm going to rest a couple of our main styles from the last couple of games. We've got Judge, I have put back on the bench. Watkins has been playing well. I have benched him. Makito, not lost a lot of stamina, but he's not 100%. So we're going to swap in Sawyers uh, for this game as well. Anything happens around half-time, we can bring these guys back on to get these three points. Oh, no, 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 no. Left the man at the back post, and we were punished. Straight up punished there. No one marking him. No, no. Oh, you twat. I did not press square. I pressed circle. That is not a slide tackle. Come on, Bentley. Oh. Right, it's half time and we are being absolutely destroyed. So I'm going to make all three changes now to try and get some. I get a point. I'm looking for at least a point. What I've done is basically put everyone on who I took off. So Watkins, Judge, and Makito are all back in, and we need them all three of them to really score so we can win. Okay, that that was disgusting. That was like playing the Barcelona of the Championship. I just couldn't. I couldn't get through anywhere. They were. Oh, they were just everywhere. I mean, they had a lot more possession than it shows there, I can tell you that. But yeah, so we had a 3 0 win and a 2 0 loss. It's going absolutely fantastic. Okay, guys, I just wanted to quickly show you this page here, which is the stats of our team. And it does still show Vibe as our top scorer, Watkins, uh, Joseph Hoon, and Fatai there. Um, and if we go over to the assists, we can see Watkins, Joseph Hoon, and Fatai are also at the top of that page there. So just to show that money does not buy good players all the time is that Justin Cliver, who I did sub off in the last game for being just dreadful, is not in the top page there. He's not in the top page uh, for assists. So basically he is playing dreadful on my part. Yeah, I he's, well, he got subbed off at half time uh, in the last game and I didn't play in the last couple of games before that because everything he's doing is not working. So he's going to be sitting in the reserves and having a think about how he's going to be better, is my theory. Until he starts getting angry, then I'll give him a couple of cup appearances and we'll go from there. But yes, after that 2-0 loss, I just wanted to see where we really are because do I need to bring in Vibe again for a couple more um, or give him a chance? He might be able to bang in a few goals. Just bits of mix and match uh, like that. So we will have a bit of a play around with the uh, team sheet for the next game, which is the cup game against Southampton. So I'd say it will be a tough one, but that Reading game was ridiculous. I know you didn't see all of the stuff that was going on, but it was literally impossible. So yes, we'll have a mixed up team for this next game. So guys, as you can see in front of yourselves there, we have a different formation. We've got a different striker and we've got it. Everything's a bit weird really. Uh, yeah, so we're going to start with Vibe up top. Judge and Sawyer's behind him in the 
slightly sided uh, attacking the field positions. It's basically the difference with this team is that our wingers are going to be sitting a lot deeper. So we're going to be able to pick the ball up and run down the wing hopefully a lot easier. And we're also going to have them there for a bit more, I don't know, a bit more uh, defence support, which I'm looking forward to. But I am worried about this massive hole that uh, Makito has had to fill on his own. So if it's horrendous and we're losing 7-0 at half time, maybe have to drop a couple more players in there. But we'll we'll give this uh, this uh, formation a go and we'll see how we get on. Come on, Watkins. And again, judge. Yes, it's 1-0. It's 1-0 to Alan Judge. In the right place, right time. Watkins lovely ball in across the floor in the corridor of uncertainty. Always dangerous. No one knows what to do. And it's 1-0 to Brentford. Come on, Henry, you've got pace. No. No. Oh. Such an easy finish. Oh, no. What is that? He didn't mean to do that. Oh, come on. Mate, they're so soft. They're so soft. They're so flipping lucky for them as well. This is EA love printing. That's my conspiracy against them all. That's offside. Mate, that is so offside. Oh, Jesus. We are being torn open now. This is now very boring. No, don't punish me like that. Oh, well, that's 5-1. What looked so hopeful in the opening minutes with a 1-0 lead turned a bit sour when they made it 5-1. And it shows that we've really got a long way to go before we're going to make it in the Prem. Um, so, yes. I thought it would be a lot closer. <clears throat> but we got pretty dicked, as you can see. So... We are at the Carabao Cup, but we've still got the Checker Trade trophy. So what started as a fantastic 3-0 win at the beginning of this video has turned a bit, yeah, it's gone a bit downwards uh, with a 2-0 loss and then a 5-1 loss at the end there against Southampton. But never mind, we have promise for the next game. We're back in the league action against Bolton and I'm sure we'll bounce back and get the three points that are needed as always so until then thank you very very much for watching don't forget to comment like and subscribe and i will see you all very soon